Welcome back to On The Beat. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today we are in the studio with Will Cooper of Crowell, Gillis & Cooper here in Columbus, Mississippi, and we're going to be talking about truck accidents. And by truck accidents, Will, I mean semi trucks. That's correct. The yeah, big we're guys. We're talking about 18 wheelers, oh, right? Yeah, they're big everywhere. Big rigs. Everywhere. They are. Um, I know when I where I have to merge onto 82 coming into Columbus, it's a really short on ramp. Right. And I'm always real cautious to make sure that I've got room to get in because that is a heavily trafficked area. And, and that is a very tough place to get over into the merge lane. It is. It is. As you've got others coming on to Absolutely. Um, Highway 82. Absolutely. Well, how, tell me how truck accidents might differ from your typical car accident. Well, the biggest thing is, is uh, the difference in weight. So if you're involved in an accident with a big truck, typically there's going to be more damage. And when there's more damage, there's going to be more injuries. Sure. And so uh, a lot of times we see in trucking accidents, the, the wrecks are catastrophic. I'm sure. And, uh, you know, and you see a lot of fatalities or very serious injuries involving those. That's one way. And then the other way, um, Rachel, is that the laws are, are different for big trucks. Oh, really? Uh, in that... Um, the DOT, the Department of Transportation, regulates trucking. Okay. Uh, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration regulates trucking. And then they're also subject to the same rules of the road, the state laws that cars are subject to. So the laws are different when dealing with big rigs. And therefore, if, you have to, if you're involved in an accident that then turns into a case, the laws are different. So are there different steps that need to be taken because the laws are different? The, there, well, there, there are. And the, the biggest thing is um, when you're involved in, a, in an accident with an 18-wheeler, one of the biggest things you need to do, probably the first thing is you have to have an accident reconstructionist a lot of times to come in and determine exactly what happens. How do you go and, about that? And so it all involves getting an attorney. Ah. And, you know, it's all about preservation of evidence. Sure. And uh, so if you're, you keep in mind that these trucking companies are big companies typically. Sure. And um, that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to get out there. They have safety directors. Mm -hmm. They're going to get out there quickly after an accident to try to figure out what happened. And so as an injured party who's had a, a family member who's been killed or seriously injured, mm -hmm. you need to be doing the same thing out there getting an, an accident reconstructionist involved. There are DOT audits you can do to make sure the truck was in compliance. Were they hauling too much of a load? Were they overweight? Oh, I'm sure. Were their brakes proper? You know, those kind of things are things that you need to be looking for if involved in a trucking accident like that. And I'm sure those details are strictly enforced by laws that are put in place to help mandate and regulate transportation on our highways. Oh, they are. And, you know, these trucking companies have to do daily inspections before right. they send their trucks out to make sure they're in compliance. But you would be shocked how many times what the trucks we see on the road are not in compliance. You know, one of the big things is hours of service. You know, have you driven too, too many, many hours? Are you too tired to be yeah, behind that, the wheel. Correct. And so those factors all go into the consideration of a lawsuit if you're involved in a big truck accident. You know, it's just, it's the road can be a scary place. It is. But and you know, it's wonderful to know that there are laws that are put in place to regulate that to keep us safe. And it's great to know that there are people like you that can help us when we do need your help for a catastrophic situation. Well, if that occurs. I appreciate that. And, and like I said, that is one of the most important things is you need to get an attorney involved where you can go properly through those steps. Great. Right. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. Well, thank you. And if you want to know more, if you need Mr. Cooper's help, all the information's up on the screen, his email, his phone number, give Will a call and he'll get you fixed up and taken care of, pointed in the right direction. We'll be back right after this short break.